So I'm going to show you how to create a graphic organizer exactly like what you see here on the screen in Google Slides. So the first thing I'm going to do is come up to the top and click background because this is going to be a way for me to choose my background color. The next thing I want to do is explore creating a shape. Now Google Slides has all kinds of shapes that you can use here. I'll start with a simple rectangle. Once you've created a shape, you can click here to choose the fill color, including even making it transparent if you want to. So I will make it white on the inside and the border color you can make transparent or leave a certain color. This one I will make transparent. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Now in my example over here, I have another little rectangle up here with some color for the header. So I'll go ahead and do that now and make another rectangle using the same tool. And I'm going to make this one orange with no color on the outside, making it transparent. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is we want to put some text up, up, up here. Now you can just double click because when you do that, the text actually lets you type. So here I will type in circles. And I like to choose different fonts just to make it look a little bit nicer, maybe a little bit bigger. Choose a good color, maybe make it centered so it stands out a little bit better. Now, I'm going to just have to copy and paste this in order to have two more. So I can grab all of this and go to Edit, Copy, and Edit, Paste. Now I have my second box. This one can be for my squares. And then paste one more time. And this one can be for my triangles. Don't forget, I can just click right here and go to the paint bucket to choose a different color. Then click here and choose a different color. Now, you'll notice in the finished version, I have a sentence here at the bottom and a line. So I want my students to add up how many circles they found. So let's try that now. Over here, there is a text box. And I want this to be a part of the graphic organizer in the back. So I'm going to click here to draw the text box. And I will now type in my sentence, how many circles. There. Okay, so there's the sentence. And then if you want to create a line, of course, you have this, this tool right here next to the shape tool that lets you draw different types of lines. So I'll just click right here to create a line. Another fun thing we do sometimes is click this button. This is called line weight. So if I need to change the thickness of that line to make it stand out just a little bit more from our students, you can do that. So I am going to copy and paste again, just like earlier. My graphic organizer is just about ready to be shared into Seesaw. I think maybe I'll add some extra space here and a little bit of extra space here and maybe grab everything here and just center it a little bit. Okay, so what I want to do now is download this image so that I have it for Seesaw as my background. So anything you create inside of Google Slides, all you have to do is go to File, Download, and you're going to be looking for either JPEG or PNG. Either one of these are both okay digital image files that can be used inside of Seesaw. For this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and use PNG. So now you're ready for the next step.